Hi guys, Dominic here with Rapino Real Estate. We're back in November to feature yet another local business in the Buena Park, Uptown, and beyond communities. We're here in Ravenswood, and this business has been here since 2008. It's a husband and wife duo that started it. It's the first distillery to start in Chicago since the mid 1800s. It's kind of fitting. It's just past Halloween, but these are not the spirits we're talking about. Woo! These are spirits you can drink and enjoy. So without further ado, follow me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Koval. Hi guys, Dominic here. We are featuring our November local business spotlight and we're here at Koval Distillery with Sonnet Biernicker Hart, president of uh, such a beautiful place. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you for having us. Yeah. So Sonnet, can you tell us a little bit about your distillery? Koval is Chicago's first distillery since the 1800s and we make a variety of products uh, using a special heart cut approach, which you should come and learn about. We make brandies and whiskeys and vodkas and gins and liqueurs all right here at Koval. And we've become now probably one of the largest independent craft distilleries in the United States with distribution in over 55 export markets. Wow, thank you, that's so awesome. <laughs> so for somebody new to Koval, what would you recommend they try first or do you have any favorites to share? You know, I have lots of favorites. And for me, it really depends on my mood and, and what I want to do uh, mm -hmm. for the evening. What, what uh, if I'm feeling more gin or whiskey or liqueur mm -hmm. or bourbon or brandy or vodka because we make it all. Wow. So <laughs> it really, really depends. But that being said, I think what's great about coming here or going to the tasting room is that you have the ability to try a flight. Mm -hmm. So you can try a whole bunch of different things and see what you like because at the end of the day it's all a matter of taste and, and what your own personal preferences are. So that at least allows for the opportunity to explore. I'm down for doing that later. Do that. <laughs> sure, okay. yeah, Sounds absolutely. Great. So you've mentioned you've been here since 2008. Why did you choose this neighborhood to establish your business? You know, we love you know, everywhere in Chicago. That being said, when we were looking to start this business, we wanted to find a neighborhood that allowed for light industrial usage, as well as the ability to live nearby, mm -hmm. the, that also had, you know, a nice mix of retail, residential, and, you know, buildings like we have here, which, you know, is a really unique building with very high, clear ceilings. Mm -hmm. Now, when we started, we were up the street, which also had a nice industrial building, also close to residential and, and so many great neighborhood uh, options. So it was finding that perfect mix. And that mm -hmm. perfect mix was in Ravenswood. Malt Row. Malt Row, exactly, exactly, for sure. So what is your favorite thing about being a part of the Ravenswood neighborhood? Oh, there are so many things. Ravenswood offers really everything. I mean, as a mom, it offers great things for kids. Mm -hmm. I mean, up and down the Ravenswood corridor, there are so many classes that I can take my kids to. But uh, beyond that, there's also fun for grown-ups, which is great. I mean, amazing restaurants, uh, all walking distance. And then you also have wonderful transportation. I mm -hmm. mean, we've got the Metro, we've got the L, we have buses. You know, if you're driving, you just go straight up uh, Ashland. I mean, it's there's so many great things about the livability mm -hmm. of Ravenswood that made it just the perfect place for us. Makes sense. So Sonnet, curious, what are your favorite things for you could share with people to go see or do in the neighborhood or area? Well, I can't recommend Malt Row enough. I mean, I feel that that's a really fun activity because you can just walk up and down uh, Ravenswood Avenue and visit so many amazing breweries, distilleries, the winery. So that has a lot to offer. But if you have a sweet tooth like me, I would certainly recommend checking out Lucila's Alfioris up the street, which are fabulous. Mm. Um, Spoken Cafe is also great. Boy, I love their pickles. And, you know, there's so many other wonderful activities. If you walk around, I mean, it's cute shops, mm -hmm. you know, up Montrose and Irving Park and the I mean, so much to do. 
Thank you for sharing. Okay, my favorite question, if you have one superpower, what would you choose that to be? Hmm. Well, as a mom running a business, I think I would say that I would love the ability not to need to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> to not get tired, that would be a great superpower. And I could devote a lot more energy all the time to getting stuff done, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I think that's a first. So, there yeah. you go. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing. My pleasure. So last question, what are you hoping? Well, our hours vary. However, we have all of the hours here for you on the screen. Uh, look forward to welcoming everyone to our tasting room, which is definitely open except for Mondays. So we've got the store, but we also do a number of tours, a number of classes. We have a lot of events, pop-ups, fun of all kinds. So please check our social and our website for all of that information. Well, thank you for joining us and being our November Local Business Spotlight. We appreciate it and all you do for the community. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. It's our pleasure. <laughs> Yay. And thank you guys for joining us for our November Local Business Spotlight. Stay tuned. We have more videos, more information coming your way. And thank you to QHI Media for all of our video shoots. Make sure to follow us on social media and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Well, so exciting. Guys, stay tuned. Make it a great day. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's delicious. It's delicious. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <clears throat> Got a little frog in my throat. <clears> throat> Got a little frog in my throat. Give me one sec. <clears throat> no, I don't. I don't literally have a frog in my throat. <laughs> why do they say that? Because I guess. I but why is it a? Frog? You never heard a. You, but you've heard it, right? I know. It's not yeah, I got a little frog like in my throat. Frog, like, <clears throat> but why not like a cricket or not something? Right. I guess frog is smoother. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Whew. Wearing the mask. Face on fire. Okay, ready. I. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>